Hello again, Pete. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to try and sort out this clunking noise and find out what it is once and for all. Okay, so today we're going to take off the sway bar today. Because I reckon that's what it is. It's something to do with the sway bar. Why, I? It's a bit blowy. Um, so we're going to take it off and see if it's what it is. Okay, might have found it, might have found the clump. Although this bush is not compressed yet. Can focus, focus, god damn it. I might need to, I'm gonna to get this off and see how bad the bushings are. Okay, these. These look a bit worn to me, which is a bit alarming because they're poly bushes that come with the sway bar, white line sway bar. It's hard to tell on, on this. Let me get some light on. Yeah, I'm not sure, me. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a temporary fix to see if it solves it. If it stops the banging, then I know I need bushing, I'll just order them and we can go from there. So I'm going to use some electrical tape on the bar to bridge the gap. And uh, even if it lasts going up the end of the road and it doesn't knock I know it's that so I can order some new bushings right let's clean the bar up okay we found something interesting focus look at that rub mark there focus the rub mark on this I can get it to bloody focus yeah look at that that's clearly been heating on something and there's some heating on that one as well look so these are touching something I wonder whether that's it hmm
Okay, that's that painted up nicely. And I've done the little brackets as well. All rusted, de-rusted and painted. Okay, so this is what we've done. Put a bit of electrical tape, wound it around about three times, just to bridge the gap, if there is any. And the actual bushing. So it should make it nice and tight. So that can eliminate that. And if it takes the clunking away, then we need new bushings. And I can take these off and take the temporary fix off and put the new bushings on. Okay, peeps. 
let's see if this has solved it. New drop links, cleaned out bushes, repositioned everything, cleaned, bracket painted, fingers crossed. Okay, so I've, my, my camera ran out, so I've had to put it on charge. Went out for the first run, still knocking its tits off, pissing me off big time. So I got back under, I got a rubber mallet out, and I basically just started smashing. But the car raised up, I started smashing each drop link to see if there was any movement. And there was a bit of movement on that side. This side wasn't moving at all, that side I could see a little just a tiny amount of movement so I pulled it off couldn't feel any play I've stuck it back on tightened it up as tight as I can get it smashed it with the hammer again there was no movement so this is the big test to see we still got the knock so let's go I'm not hopeful so far I normally get it over these ones so. It's interesting though, I don't get the clunk if the rear wheels are going over something evenly. It's only when it's on uneven. So it's it's gotta be the fucking drop links, isn't it? It's gotta be. It's, if it goes over a bump equally, I don't get anything. If it goes over like that, or like that, I get the knock. Fucking thing. Okay, take number 26, Jesus. Right, uh, I made a little error. Um, the one I really tightened up on that side, I had in the wrong hole. I had it on the softest setting, number two. Or number one, sorry. So rather than put it to number two, I put the other one, which I wanted to tighten up anyway, onto number one also. So they're both on the, the, the softest setting of the sway bar now. So. Fingers crossed. You know, my luck will be worse. First bump coming. Nope, it's still fucking there, you fucking cunt, yeah! Oh, I'm absolutely flummoxed now, I have no fucking idea. The only thing I can think of is, because I've replaced the bump stops at the top, Top mount, sorry. Pump stops are, are new. Yeah, bump stops are new. Um, drop links are new. I can't believe the bushes for the for the sway bar are that far gone. So, I'm not going to think about replacing them just yet. I don't think it is them. Oh man. It's doing me a 
head in. It can't be the shock, the shocks are not far off new. I've only had them a year. And then I took it off to replace the top mount. They were perfectly fine. No leaks. It was compressing fine. So I have, I have no fucking idea. No idea. The only thing I can do is take a gamble at the drop links foot and order another set. I mean, they're not, they're not that much to be fair. Because they're, they're only rear drop links, but all the same, fucking hell, man. Proper tedious, this one. Okay. I've taken the sway bar off completely. So, drop links are not touching anything. So, I shouldn't have any bangs whatsoever, if my theory is correct. Obviously, we're going for a process of elimination here. These are the acid test bumps. Let's have a look. Let's have a listen. Zero noise. Yeah. Shit all. So it's definitely spray bar related. Or drop link, should I say. Yeah, it's fuck all. Absolutely nothing coming out of that now. Quiet as a mouse. Yep. Well, I'm pleased. Because I think for certain, let's have a look. Yeah, it's definitely that then. So it must it must be the new drop links. It's got to be. Because the bushes don't look that warm. It's certainly not deformed in any way. So I think I need to order some drop links. Some more severe ones here, so I'll have a go with these as well, just to make triply sure. But normally it's made of it's knocked its tits off by now. Yep, nothing quite as a mouse. Oh, joy! The whole joy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with drop links rather than bushes. So, I'm going to give an email, I think, to the guys I got the fucking drop links off, just the pants, and we'll, we'll see if whatever. Tanya, not waving back as normal. Okay, we're off to VIP Motorsport to get the new drop links that I should have got in the first place instead of ordering them off eBay. So, you know, always the eBay risk, but gave it a go. And now I'm paying the price. I've got to go and get some new ones. So come with me and I shall show you my Mazda Savior, which is Mr. Neil at VIP. He's a top bloke, helps you out whenever he can. I'm sure he won't mind me filming him. So let's, go, let's get on with getting down there. We're here. Okay, we have the parts. I couldn't film inside because he's having renovations so it looks a bit shit. And it wouldn't do the place justice, so we'll catch him when uh, when he's all finished. So let's get on. Okay, so these are the new old ones. And these are the hard race versions. So let's get them open. Handed, like a boss. Let's have a look, see if there's any difference in terms of size or or it like that. Okay, so they look to be 
more or less exactly the same. So I don't know why they failed or even if they have failed because when I stick these on and it starts knocking I'm going to be very pissed. So let's fit these ones and see where we go. Okay, the new, the new new drop links are on the hard race ones. Fingers crossed. I'm scared right now. Oh God, please work. Sounds lovely. Let's hope it stays clunk free. Here we go, first bump test. Oh, beautiful. That one was beautiful. Beautiful, silence is golden. Knockless. Let's do these next two because these are the ones that normally Defo does a bang on. Here we go. Oh, sweet! This is music to my ears. Silent music, that is. 
Oh. Oh. Can you believe it? Oh, that's awesome. That's just, that's just mega. So basically what's happened is I suspected the top links were fucked originally that's what the clunk was I got them off they were shagged I put new ones on I had no issue for a day and then the clunking came back and I just assumed it wasn't going to be the new drop links because they were brand spanky new and I checked everything three four times and at the end of the day it was the new drop links unbelievable so there you have it if you replace your drop links and you still got the clunk they're not uh, it's the new drop links you've just put on and if you've got them off eBay odds are that's probably what the issue is so that ladies and gentlemen is a successful day and I've if you ever want your sway bar taken off I'm your man because I can take that shit off in about five minutes now so I'm going to end the video there because we fixed it basically and that was it so I hope you enjoyed the uh, long journey of swapping out um, not swapping out the journey of process of elimination to try and find out what this clunk was so my advice for you as watching this video would be if you hear a clunk on your rear on a Mazda 3 MPS or a Speed 3 just take your sway bar off completely drive around see if the clunk's gone if the clunk's gone it's your drop links end of just replace them even if they're brand new get another set odds are they've gone faulty Right, nice one. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the likey button and uh, spread it around as much as you can and we can up the subs because our next milestone will be a 1,000 subs since we're at 510, I think it was, on the last count. Um, so massive thank you out to all my subbies. Oh, I, I don't know if you noticed in the video as well that um, I was using axle stands. Mm, yeah, that's the big safety thing everyone's been... Um, really having a go at me about so which you know and, it, and it's warranted because i was trying me look out with the uh with the old um jacks so yeah anyway anyway i'm waffling on i'm gonna go get something to eat i shall see you again in the next video thanks for watching thanks for tuning in have a good time Ta-da!